like sir if you snorted a little something something if you just let us know now what's up what it do what's good what's popping what's going on Ooh. Before we start today's video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the bell for future giveaways. And that's on Gumpling! Today's video is going to be about the time Lil O.C.Z. got her teacher fight. She got her teacher fight. Fight. <laughs> this was my freshman year. I was so excited. I was so happy because I was starting to go to this performing arts school in Coconut Grove. It is no longer in existence but it was in a pretty alright school. I was like ain't nobody could kill my vibe. New and improved Susie. Nobody know me here so it's awesome. But there was this one teacher who killed my vibe y'all. I'm lying. There was multiple teachers who killed my vibe but we not talking about them right now. Okay, we talking about this one. This teacher name was Mr. Duckworth and the way that man carried himself in such an egotistical manner with a I'm better than you accent made me want to punch him in the throat. And to help better understand this man's character, he was pretty feminine. His disrespect came with a little more oomph. And let me tell you right now, I've always been the type to like respect my elders and stuff, but I have never been the type to sit down and let them disrespect me. Ask my mom. It's not gonna happen, okay? I'm not gonna just let you walk over me just because you older. <laughs> No! <laughs> Ridiculous! So for sure, you already know I was not gonna let this man walk all over me my freshman year. I refuse. He was so rude and unsympathetic and hypocritical for no reason. Like, I did not ask you to work here. If you ain't got patience for kids, then bye. This is not the place for you. <laughs> he would say things like this before he started teaching. Students, if you have any questions, please ask now. But if you don't, then don't ask anything because you'd be wasting both of our times. And I wish I was exaggerating because that is how he sounded. He dragged when he talked. But like it just had me like, sir, calm down. Calm down, okay? Not that deep. There was this one time after he did that whole little speech, I had a question, so I'm like, raising my hand. It was a assignment related question. It wasn't just like, you know, gibberish, da da da. I asked him, I was like, uh, Mr. Duckworth, for the site that you were telling us about, it's asking for a code and I don't have the code. Uh, 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 I told you at the beginning of the school year. Like, this man really think I'm gonna remember something from the beginning of the school year. Like, uh, excuse me, sir. I didn't get enough titty milk. I was born prematurely. So I don't think my brain fully developed. So therefore my memory sucks. So I said, but you said if we have any questions to ask now. That's the problem with you students. You think you know what you think you know. First of all, that don't make sense. Like, sir, if you snorted a little something, something if you just let us know now. Okay, because you gotta be on something to be saying something you know. What, you know. what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? And when this man spoke, he was like pretty theatrical. So you can tell that being disrespectful was just a part of his personality. But I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. It wasn't only me that he came for, but it was mostly me that he came for. So I'm like, yo, this dude gotta be racist because it wouldn't be the first time I suspected a teacher of being racist at this school. But you know, that's a different story for a different time. But that story is even more hotter than this one, I'm gonna tell you right now. It got to a point where I was fed up. <laughs> I was fed up. Cause this man, he would kick me out of class for asking questions. 
And I wasn't like the class clown. I was never like the class clown type. So I know I wasn't tripping. He would send me to the office and like the principal would not listen to anything I really had to say. She would just like defend him and stuff like that. Because him and the principal were like best friends. Him and the principal were like best friends. And she would just be like, well, he said it. He said that. Well, he said that. Well, okay. Shoot. But the absolute last straw for me was when this girl, I think her name was Brittany or something like that, she came back to school to this class and she was like, excuse me, Mr. Duckworth, I was in the hospital getting a heart surgery so I couldn't do your homework. Guess what this man said? You know what this man said? <laughs> the hospital has Wi-Fi. Like, you thought you did something there, didn't you? You thought you did something after that i was like you know what i'm gonna start a petition i'm gonna have everybody sign it with how they feel and it's gonna be completely anonymous and completely appropriate i went to every student in every class that he had and i told them don't put anything disrespectful because i want it to be appropriate and i want it to be taken seriously and it was just like you know three notebook papers and all three of those notebook papers was filled with handwritings front and back so you know i was like <laughs> okay shoot i'm <laughs> Glad to know I wasn't the only one that did not like this man. So one day before I turned the paper in, a friend of mine at the time told me that the class before mine, because she had the class before mine, she said that the whole class roasted this man. <laughs> they were using the sausage song to roast him, so there was like, Mr. Duckworth got an itty bitty sausage. Boy, I wish I, wish I was in that class, because I would have stepped out of my Christianity and went in on that man. <laughs> so the principal heard about the situation and then came up to me and asked about the petition because she had heard about me having a petition and she asked to review it i was like see you didn't want to believe me you don't want to believe they reviewed the petition and the day after i went to class la di da and one of my guy friends at the time, or a guy that I was cool with or whatever, he was like, Suzanne, Mr. Duckworth got fired. And when I say, I was happy. Bye, I was happy. Like for real, I was in class, quiet class, and I tripped so loud, and everybody that was minding their business wasn't minding their business no more. So I am so sorry to y'all. I am so sorry. I started texting everybody, texting everybody, texting everybody, and then people just started blowing up my phone after that. Suzanne, if you lying, I'm gonna be so mad. I couldn't stand that man. WTF? You better be serious. I hope he gone. And like out of all those reactions, there was only one like reaction that wasn't for him getting fired. She was like, why are you guys so mean to him? I understood him on a personal level. I said, that's cause you didn't have his class. <laughs> After he left, things got better from there. Like we had a better teacher named Miss Dominguez. She was cool. She was real cool. Like we followed each other on Instagram authority and like she was like way better than him. Way better. Period. <laughs> but Mr. Duckworth, y'all, mm -hmm, don't get me started. Overly greasy hair, overly sweaty face, overly sweaty armpits. That was the first gay man who did not take care of his hygiene. At least that's the first that I saw that didn't take care of his hygiene. The first. The first. You crazy. Cause my gay friends, they took care of these. I'ma tell you that much. That's all for today guys. That's the time I got my teacher beauty. He got beauty. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and hit the bell for future giveaways and that's on Gumplain. Bye. Service like shot.